Quick factual note on Tradwives, nothing against it, but I have degrees in history and anthropology, and this very skewed one parent, one provider lifestyle is only trad if you have a very narrow view of what trad means. For about 95% of our species history, we've lived as hunter-gatherers, and if you look at modern hunter-gatherers, men and women are both, generally, economically productive and parentally involved. Calories are the original income. Typically, women produce substantial calories in these groups, sometimes producing most of the calories, sometimes as much as 75%. And on the parenting side of things, male care for offspring is generally quite high among these groups. Famously, among the Aka, a father typically spends half of his time in reach of an infant. So it seems more than likely that our ancestors largely ran a dual income, dual parent strategy. And seemingly, the West has rushed back to this state after a brief period away from it, a fad, if you will, where at least in one subsection of society, men generally provided almost all the resources, and women generally provided almost all the parenting. For perspective, here's the timeline of the human species. We've been around about 300,000 years, maybe more. Agriculture is the tiny 12,000 year black slice there, and the 1950s would be a tiny slice of that black slice if you could see it. Now to be clear, fad wifing, if it works for you, that's awesome. I don't see how it's anybody's business. And a lifestyle being unnatural doesn't mean that it's not workable or wrong. Surgery is pretty unnatural. However, today, like our ancestors, most Western men and women generally both take part in some economically productive activity and some parenting activity when cooperating to raise children. In fact, in about 16% of American households, women are now the primary breadwinner. Get me an apron.